and we're back to Hard West Lords and Ladies as we go across the Cultist Hideout in the Swamp. The ranch had flooded a couple of years back and the water never receded. Swarms of insects buzzed over the murky copse filled waters. Unnerved noises came from the ranch, laughter howls, gunshots and the sound of metal on metal floated across the water con conjuring, conjoining in the man's mind to fearsome image, got a conjuring in the man's mind to fearsome image of gruesome monstrosities. Harrington suggested an early morning attack would catch the foes off guard. Right. Everybody's food is sated. Get some sleep. Another day arrived, the rest of the wicked. The ranch had flooded the up radio. The ranch was silent in the morning for covered the approach route. The posse knew this was the time to strike. The ranch was accessible from three sides. The undertaker approached from the southwest through the large clearing, southeast through the ruined farmhouse. I mean, I have a long range weapon, so I can suit from range. Southwest through a large clearing. Accessible through three sides, Harrington approached. Through a large. Uh, let's go, these two go through the, f the clearing. You can go through the worn out. Northwest, where middle sized one out house was standing, and you can go through the ruined farmhouse. Everybody has the cards, everybody has everything. In his quest to lift the curse, the Undertaker headed to the Demon Prince's swamp hideout. He and Harrington lay in wait until dawn, prepared to end the cult once and for all. The posse approached the hideout at dawn. The altar, where blood sacrifices were made, gave the demon his ability to control his followers' bodies. They could destroy the altar, or kill his disciples. Either one would stop the demon prince from resurrecting. The three vessels filled with the blood of his believers strengthened the demon's ungodly powers. Destroying these vessels would cripple the fiend. Right, so we're there, so we need to get to... We need to go and break his vials. We're in stealth mode, so... Let's go. Right. He needs to be able to get in here. Okay, there's someone guarding this angle of approach. That's not good. Fortunately, no one... No one patrols in this game. I have to say that right now. This setup would be a lot worse if people actually were patrolling. Like XCOM style patrolling. Right, we know there's a bloke there. We could just stick him up, but if there's someone else, it would be a pain. Right. Need to check to make sure there's no one inside the building. Shoot it. Okay, that's not good. Right, so if we all shoot them... Yeah, that's gonna suck. Okay. Basically, we had to split up our group. Which I'm not 
happy about. Right, get into position. Use the auto to damage it, destroy all the blood vials, which basically give it bonuses. I mean, we could maybe sneak through. And we know that there's someone here. Okay. Just wondering if we could kill the bloke there and make a straight run for the altar. Right. Uh, yeah, so there's no way we can actually use the altar to damage it or kill the cultists. Destroy all the blood vials. Right, okay. Okay, so once a chance to break that vial. Right, let's do this then. Seventy five percent chance. Hundred percent chance it is, let's go. Everybody set up, let's do this. Shoot that. As the vessel fell apart, so did the demon's protective aura. Spray and pray on Axe. We don't need to spray and pray, we can just shoot him. Kill all his cultists. Oh, you missed? Well, that's bad. Now the demon's going to be moving. I need to break the aura as quickly as possible. Come on. As the vessel shattered, the demon suddenly lost his vitality. You can kill all the cultists. help us much, there's not a lot of room, so he's going to have to stay here. Okay, we see the demon. Try for a shot. Ah, wrong person. Wasn't looking for you, mate. Ah, well. Hmm. Ah, we hit him. That's what I was worried about. He's got a flank. Right, 
right. You get to here. Not him. Really? Okay, fine. Oh, he's still up. The problem is if he's hiding behind there, I can't get him. Can get this guy though. Kill him. Yeah, spray and pray him. There's three cultists remaining. Reload. Take a shot. Reload. I know he's just going to pop out from whatever ghastly little hole he's hiding in, but... Was there movement? There was movement here, was there? Okay. Get lost. Blinking parasite. Problem is, if he's in there, we won't get him easily. Send him around in case there's someone lurking around here. If not, we should be able to get back in. Reload. And then just turn. We need to kill all the cultists, don't we? I know you should never fully sprint in this game, but I really, really need that bloke out of that house. Now that he's dead, I can jump in here. Oh, there's someone there. So that's where the other cultist is. Okay. That's good to know. If that's the case, we should be able to flank get around the side you put up to there we know that there's someone looking about in the back of that place found you. Uh, it's not going to be able to get him with that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, missed. That's not great. I noticed someone up there. He's going to go to there. That guy's coming out. First things first, we know there's someone there. Oh, you mean I can't see him? That would have made my life so much easier. I want to target this guy. Crippled movement. 
There we go. Okay, no chance in hitting him normally. 40% chance hitting him from there. Okay. Can we get any better angles on him? Uh, 50 50 it is then. No, 39. Great, so we need to relocate if we actually want to try and get him. Easily. At least. Let's sprint around here. He can't suit him. That guy's ducking back into the house. That guy's pushing up. Right, we know there's a bloke there. Go for a shot. Go for him. Wait, oh, I'm in the wrong place. That's not good. Can't get the bloke out of the house. There's no way for us to easily approach this guy. Unless he goes, uh, unless he goes around the side. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Blast him. The one coat is left. But to get him out is going to be a pain and a half. Because he's standing up at that window. And that guy's approaching me, and I need to get the cover quick. Get in here, and we'll make a run for the totem when he's not looking. Okay, you push up. Right, so we killed off all his followers. I just need to get into a good enough position that I can snipe the idiot here. Seriously, I can't see that bloke. But he's right there. <sighs> of course, because the game wouldn't allow me to actually try and kill this bloke, would it? That demon. Right, okay, fine. This is the thing I find so frustrating about this game. It's like, oh, like I should be able to see him. He's right there. See? Let's lean out and shoot him, but it's going telling me no, which is really annoying. Shoot him, please. His followers were all dead. Without a vessel, he could not return. It was time to send this evil creature back to hell. Take the shot. The fiend was no longer anchored in the realm of the living. With its demise, your father found a new path. A new ambition. His final destination, his place to find redemption, was now with you.
Right, so that's the end of the Undertaker's one. Right, campaign. Boy, we really did not get a lot of stuff, did we? Eh. Doesn't really bother me that much. I don't really use the fate items in this game. So. Right. Florence was taken from you for far too soon, but you still could save her. If the devil is to be believed, the destroying purgatory would require a truly legendary posse. For in the meantime, your father has become a formidable warrior pursuing his own agenda. Right. Normal. Combat injuries. Iron Man. Luck for kills, unknown health, enemies have more abilities. All wasn't lost yet. If purgatory could be destroyed, Florence would be set free. There was just one catch. Only the dead can enter purgatory. So, to fulfill his plan and upset the order of nature, he needed you, half living, half dead, to do his dirty work. You'd only get one shot at this. To make sure you didn't fail, you set out to find a cadre of legendary gunmen to put together the ultimate posse. Meanwhile, the Undertaker, still searching for some measure of redemption, struck a blow against the evil forces massing against humankind. The enemies that remained came together to end him once and for all. Chased, wounded, and trapped in an abandoned fort, he awaited their final offensive. enemies okay so here we are kill all the cultists well this is going to be something that we do next time folks we can't do this right now this would take too long so I've been Cornish Knight if you have liked please press the like button if you subscribe please press the subscription button you can follow me on Twitter you can follow me on Steam you can leave a comment in the comment section or press the subscription button with the new ways that YouTube works, it helps me a lot. I shall see you all next time on the next episode of Hard West.